Happy Wednesday. Where are you in the worry category of life? When there's something that's on your mind, whether it's um, a waiting response from a job or um, an appointment or whatever, something pressing, you know, maybe it's hearing back from a doctor. You've got bills to pay. Where are you in the worry category? Do you just worry, worry, worry? You know, spend, you know, your extra waking hours captured in the idea that the worst case scenario is happening or going to happen. You're going to be displaced from your home or, you know, that, you know, ailment that you have is, is uh, you know, whatever, you know, you're going to lose your foot. You know, I've got an ache in my leg. I'm going to lose my whole foot. Where are you in that? Do you do that? Do you lean towards like worst case scenario? I mean, I know that I used to, and I still circle around that basically drain, basically circle around that drain at times. But the more I stay focused on, you know, what's happening right here, right now, and and my actions to what I what I get to do right here, right now, whether it's go to work you know, try to cultivate work or, um, you know, go work out or, you know, whatever, be in action, whatever verb that is for you, or just sit and be and breathe. Um, those, that, those activities take me out of just self-obsessed worry. Um, it's a definitely, it's a shift of my focus and it is, again, just another form of practicing being present. You know, if I'm waiting for a phone call that's going to tell me if I, you know, got something I wanted or didn't, and I just worry about that phone call or fantasize about getting it or fantasize about not getting it, I'm not in this moment. You know, it all circles around being here now. And then on top of that, you know, being grateful. Um, I do a lot of work every day. <laughs> And to, to really embrace this moment and what I have and wanting the life I have, again, practice, you know, because it's very easy in our society to look at other people's things and their lives and say, I want what they have. Why don't I have what they have? It's not fair that I don't have what they have. And I get consumed with them and lose the focus of me. You know, this is an individual journey, this life thing. We each get our own set of parameters. And we take, I mean, I tend to at times take it personally when I think your parameters are better than mine. And then I forget that there are other people who have parameters that are worse. When I'm right sized and realize that this is just my game, my life. And I, if I'm going to compare myself to anybody, I compare myself to where I was at, you know, where I'm at compared to where I've been. Have I changed? Have I kept, do I continue to keep growing? None of that's easy. It's all about awareness and staying focused and, you know, it's so easy to get distracted by all the bright lights and shiny things that people present to us or just the fear that, and worry that we can bite into. Oh, it's not easy. And, you know, staying on the beam, but getting back up every time you fall and standing back up and walking, continuing to pursue, you know, to grow towards this, I don't know, better place. Much love.